Francis Gaither. Hi, Daddy. Um, grateful for you taking your time to make this video and um, talk about our Korans. Uh, what, in essence, the crux and the kernel of your video is just you trying to emancipate the masses about the boomers and everything. You using my story is just, you know, it's nothing I'll be belligerent over, rather. Uh, you've used two names, Pamela, and I've seen man ukuna tutiangu ya 2021. Damn. Okay, so you've used Pamela and you've used Mbadi. Uh, I'll not talk about Pamela much because uh, for youngs, women have never been known to be incredible bosses. So Mbadi, whenever I talk about Mbadi, people say that I'm a jealous ex. Number one, Bibi Mbadi, mwenyamezane, Roda, mwenyameishi na e. What am I saying, Atakuza? Rhoda Ajazalia Mbadi, she is a barren woman. So I don't think, as a oko at my age, I can be jealous of a manamke mwenyata Ajazalia manamke. Um, the reason why sometimes I speak out is because uh, Mbadi engaged me. Um, nilimjua kutoka siku zenye nilikuwa standard uh, migori. Iyo ndio temu nilikuwa najua pia CIS. And then akakuwa anito, minority leader through the handshake government. Do you know the kind of opportunities that come with being a minority leader? Somebody had opportunities akamua atatumia. So enlisted me in manage social media. Do you know ni mimi? Ah, okay, the one you are seeing we are najiguza kifua hivi. Ndio nimefungulia mbadi Twitter account. Mbadi hata kwa najua Twitter ilikuwa nini. So I and uh, I was Twitter was managing full time. Facebook, I don't know some relative of the wife America about to manage the Facebook. But I was going to tell my story on Facebook. So the agreement was 20,000. Imagine the letter in your COVID. I had dropped out of school. I was pursuing my political science at the University of Nairobi. Because time ya COVID man, how many of us were even surviving? See, at a drawing in air, breathing was a privilege, man. Huh? So your time ni me drop out of school, job we make wa scars. Mtu anakupati, anakuambia sawa, anakupia kazi, 20k. Na pesa ilikuwa, uru alikuwa, ile handshake government, uru alikuwa metolea raila pesa kama blood fucking. Ndiyo wane wakibandol miguna kama pregnant cow, heifa, wakipeleka hei Canada. Hei kwa mchezo, pesa ilikuwa mamagika. Now that is the time that uh, unona mtu kama Gabriel Ogoda, wandae. That was the time when I really engaged Gabriel Oguda. The moment Gabriel Oguda lichukua the place of Mbadi. Unona, do you know Gabriel Oguda is working kwa government? Mbaka kaoa, mbaka kanona. What do you mean? Opportunities iko kwa hii sirikali. Olafu mtu, anakuambia ati, ati kujia, kujia mshara 20,000 hivi na unamanejia social media in the time of crisis. Alafu ati 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 kuja kama ujavasi rwali. Kabla muni tusi you've never even listened to me. That is what mbadi did for me bwana. You you watch yoga. Imagine. No na then you wanna tusi wewe mtu kwa nini? That is it. That guy had an opportunity. Decided. Omera. I don't want to talk shit, but I can talk shit. So, in the name of Providence, and for a few people I respect, I'ma leave it at that point. Yeah? So, Francis Gaido, thank you for your video. You have a poignant point and I am going to support your gospel. For now.